and I just took it a little bit slower. Like, that's what you, you need to do to make sure it's safe. Well, as we mentioned, the dense fog is causing low visibility on roadways, causing several crashes and putting drivers on alert. Good morning now. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is live in Sacramento along I-80, where, well, Carlos, it was a mess for a lot of drivers this morning. Yeah, the thick fog made it very difficult for people to make it into work and school. Right now, police officers are urging people to slow down. Heavy fog around the region is keeping both law enforcement and towing companies extremely busy with one crash after another. It just basically stretches us thinner. Matt Kellogg helps run College Oak Towing. He monitors weather conditions very closely and has assigned extra staff to deal with all the crashes. What we see that causes more wrecks probably than anything else is uh, people following too closely. People in all vehicles, whether it's a small passenger car or a commercial vehicle. And then, of course, speed as well. Investigators with the California Highway Patrol say the low visibility caused by the fog is to blame for a multi vehicle crash on Highway 99 near Powerline. It left vehicles badly damaged and a handful of people shaken up. Your reaction time, your braking time, the road's wet, you're going to slide right into people that are stopped in front of you. The CHP is urging drivers to slow down. They are also reminding people their headlights should be on. It's not that bad, but it's still foggy. Although some drivers don't mind the fog, others do. One woman said she came to work early just to avoid any problems on the road. And I just took it a little bit slower. Like, that's what you, you need to do to make sure it's safe. Now, police in Folsom are currently investigating a hit-and-run crash that happened in the area of Park Shore. They are trying to determine if it was weather-related. Back to you. Yeah, it can be really dangerous. Carlos, thank you for that update.